I just walked in, but y'all already know me. Things in the world nowadays getting OD. Chilling in the crib with the fam, getting cozy. Talking with my people, we at home with our homies. Jay. B Maz. What is up? What's going on, my brother? Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for uh, inviting me. You know I love you. I love you too, man. This is what we're going to do. So you're on Sabre Real Estate's At Home with the Homies. We're homies, so what better time than now to catch up? I agree. No one's got shit to do. That's it, man. So I, uh, again, I just wanted to, to uh, catch up with you regardless and see what's good in the hood. My other homie's out here right now. Yeah, man. There he is. Franks. <laughs> the best. The best. So, B, Talk you're very me. inspiring. You, 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 you've taken me to a completely different level of operation and optimization, mentally, physically, basically across the board, man. So Appreciate it. Uh, it. It's a fact. So tell me a little bit about your, your normal daily routine for the, the folks that don't understand the savage that I'm on, on the line with right now. Um, well, thank you. And I, I wasn't always operating at this high octane of a level. I still feel like I'm not where I want to be. I think the problem with a lot of people is they're, they're not willing to sacrifice who they are for who they want to be. So let's just rewind right. that and, and, and say that slow. Sacrificing your current situation for who you want to be in life, whether it's fitness, whether it's professional life, being in a relationship in general, right? So I feel like I have prepared myself to deal with a situation that is going on currently in our world, in our global pandemic, just by the small daily routines and disciplines that I have in my life currently. So um, I'm not saying I'm immune to all of this stuff, but I feel like in the mental space, because, you know, I have been able to kind of deal with this in, in a positive light as much as possible. But my routine is uh, I'm in bed every night by 730, 745. Um, nice. And I, I purposely do that because I get up at four in the morning. Um, I'm a really big believer in setting up my children for success early. So I don't wait for them to get up to get their stuff prepared. I already have their bottles and their breakfasts prepared for them before they get up. So when they come down or when they do get up, a it's just courteous, you know, being courteous to my, my wife so they don't wake her up. Um, but, so, you know, sometimes she's up earlier for news as well because she's a journalist at CNN. But so 7.45, bed, up at 4 in the morning. And I used to train at that time, but I don't anymore because I, I just, you know, do my stuff that I need to, any admin work, any um, just anything I need to get through that's really not enjoyable. I bang that out first. Um so then my day really starts to be able to crank. Then when my children get up, you know, it's, it's dad time, breakfast, baba, hanging out, watching TV, just enjoying them as much as possible. Um, and luckily enough, we have an, an amazing uh, nanny who's just part of our family who's wonderful. So she comes over around 8.30. And then that's when I can go do my workouts and, and then really do my self-building um, time and, and the time that allows me to personally grow. Um, you know, I'm a huge believer in that fitness starts everything and fitness will then transcend your mind into a different place. Um, and it'll start to pay major, major dividends for you in all areas of your life. That's a fact, man. And another big thing that I learned from you is, is removing alcohol, right? So yeah, so I, I stopped drinking about five years ago. Um, not that I had an issue with it. Do I miss drinking? Uh, of course, do I miss having wine with my wife and having a drink with my homies? And oh, for sure. But I was willing to sacrifice that in order to take major, major steps forward. Again, nothing wrong with alcohol. Um, I was in the bar business for 15 years. I, I, I sold it forever. Um, but I just needed to get to a place where if three glasses of wine or two glasses of wine didn't allow me the next morning to be the best I possibly could be, I had to stop that. Absolutely. Um, so I just made that decision. And, you know, there's amazing companies out there. You know, I work with Athletic, Bre Athletic Brewing Company, and they're an awesome, awesome non-alcoholic beer. Um, and I have, you know, one or two of those a night or every other night when I'm cooking with my family and, and stuff. So there's, there's substitutions for it. But 
if alcohol is something that is holding you back, whether it's a glass of wine a night or two or three, you have to be able to eliminate those small little things in order to continue to grow. Everyone has their different vice, right? It could be candy bars. It could be sugar. It could be this. It could be that. Um, it could be someone in your life. Um, and I look at them all the same. It's not like I just put alcohol on top. I look at things that were not allowing me to be full octane 24-7. And then I made a list of all of those things. Some of those are people. Some of those are partners. Some of those were whatever in my life. Food, uh, certain workouts, just whatever. Yep. And I slowly took them out of my life and replaced them with better stuff. Listen, it's, it's absolutely amazing how much more optimized your life is when you're not waking up in a cloud. I, and honestly, at this point, like I haven't cut alcohol out entirely, but I drink very rarely. And when I do, it's only tequila and it's a couple tequilas and it's rare. And the next day, I'm a little off, even if I had sure. one. And that's a fact, man. So like if you actually can eliminate something like that, you're just going to be that much more high functioning. And that's basically high functioning. And it. then when you get past that level, yeah. you start doing it with certain foods. Yeah. And then you really start to like get kind of psycho and dialed in with it. But there's like, you know, I go through flows, right? So I go through really ebbs and flows of with my fitness journey where I'm so dialed in and it's like the best tunnel vision ever. And there's some days where like the workouts are, are just horrendous. You don't want to be, you know, doing it. Yeah. And that's just, that's just being a human, right? I think that's everything in life. Um, but right now I'm in that dialed in phase and it's like, I cannot get enough fitness in and it's, I, I'm just loving it right now. You're, you're a beast, man. And, and, and an inspiration, but now's, now's the time that we're going to change and have a little bit of fun right now. So we're just going to pop off with some questions and hear how Brian Mazza answers them. You ready, bro? Ready. Fireside chat. Go. Let's go. Who would win in a fight? Spider-Man or Batman? Uh, Batman. Batman. What inspires you? I mean, we spoke about that, but what really inspires you, Brian? That I know tomorrow I could be dead. Yeah, that's a fact. Are you more of a hunter or a gatherer? Hunter. I knew the but answer, I do, man. But I do gather a lot. Of you people. have to gather, too. How many cups of water do you drink a day? I do one gallon a day. One gallon a day. You're a new addition to a crayon box. What color are you and why? Midnight blue. Dude, did I give you these answers already? You're like answering them like, like as if you know what I'm about to ask you. Midnight blue, why? Because you could be multiple things. You can like kind of be black and, and, and have that shade and you could be the midnight blue, which is like just so sexy. Sorry, my sister was calling. And that ties right into fashion too, which we can go off on a whole nother. But uh, let's keep all going. Day. All day. Who was your childhood actri actress crush? Jessica Biel. Say that again? Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel. Uh, if you had to eat one type of food every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? My mom's pasta. Yum. As a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a teacher. Interesting. Yeah, my dad's a teacher. Okay, great. Or was a teacher. When am I getting an HPLT hat? Oh, that's not on this me, list. When you send me your address. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll give you a code um, after this, and you can just order it, and it'll ship to you. Works. Uh, what is the favorite place that you've ever traveled to? Uh, well, biasly, I would say uh, Florence, Italy, because I live there, and I'm Italian. But we, um, Mallorca, there's a beach called S. Trenk over there. And uh, it's a private beach, and my wife and I went there on our honeymoon, and it was just remarkable. So I hope we can get back to Europe soon. That sounds amazing. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you be and why, B? A... I already knew All that. day. Uh, Actually, you know what? I would, wouldn't mind being a great white. Really? Explain. Because they're, you know, they're, they're so scary... Right, but they're they have they're scary because they have to survive, right? And and they're lethal because they have to survive. But a lot of people don't actually know this: how athletic they are, how they can jump like twenty feet out of the water when they attack some of their prey. Did you know that? I love watching that shit. By the way, oh, Shark Week's one of my favorite like times great. of year. And plus. They can kind of go in a trance state when you touch them. And I don't know if you know if you watch it, you can see that they're they're kind of like they can be calm, but then just 
Snap catatonic, control. bro. Yep. Catatonic state. Just turn them upside down and they freeze all to Come on. Don't even get me started with Shark Week, bro. Let's go. Uh, when you die, what do you want to be remembered for? Just a good father and husband. Love that. If you woke up and had 2,000 unread emails and can only answer 300, how would you choose to answer them? How would you pick the 300 out of the 2,000? Like, how do you prioritize? Dude, because I'm sure you're getting bombarded all day. How do you pro yeah. prioritize your, what you respond to? I prioritize my emails right now. And if it was 2,000, that would kind of really stress me the fuck out. But yeah. um, I would have to say if it's a financial matter first right now and stuff that had to get paid or stuff that uh, I was trying to get paid, I would get, definitely go after those first. Um, Smart. But in this state of that we're in, right now I'm actually going through them and putting them in when I mean, people are in need or people need an answer or people just want some questions. That I'm just banging those out. But then again, I'm up at 4 in the morning. So I have time to bang all this out. If I was getting up at 7.30 in the morning, I would not have time. That's a fact. In addition to that, though, people have time to do what they prioritize. And people need to realize that, right? Like, if something's important to you, it's the action behind it. It speaks so much louder than words. I'm such a believer. When people tell me that they didn't get around to it, no, don't, stop lying to yourself. It's not important to you. You can shine sure. the time. You'll uh, always right. find time. Right? That's a fact. B, would you be kind enough to take us into your kitchen and give us a tour of what you're living on in isolation? Yes, let's do that right now. Let's go. Let's make sure I didn't get locked out first. That's, that would be good, yeah. Come on. What you got in the kitchen, B? What's keeping you, what's, what's keeping you healthy and, and, and energized? So we're in the crib right now. There's, there's Vero and Leo. Hello. Say hi. No, say hi. Oh, hi. What's up, Leo? How are Hola. you? <laughs> Hola. Um, so we got a lot of fruit going on. Crushing a lot, a lot of fruit. And there was a time when you were cutting out fruit, bro. Yeah, I did a whole year without eating fruit. You're a nut. That was just a dumb challenge, but I did that. Um, let's see what I got. Oh, these are Super Coffee. I don't know if you guys know about this brand. Talk to Super me. Super Coffee and their creamers are out of control. So no sugars, no carbs, good fats, MCT oil, and protein. You guys can see it on there. Amazing. And keto. Um, I made that this morning cakes for the crew. Um, what else do I got? We're cutting out a little out bit. There. We're freezing here. You got me? All right, we're back. We're back. You got kids? This oh, is there great you go. for your children. Yeah. And then my buddy owns Icon Meals. I don't know if you guys know what Icon Meals are, but uh, Todd Abrams is a pioneer in the, um, the meal prep industry. So we have a bunch of good, healthy snacks for everybody. Um, so if, I think if people are stressed out right now in, in terms of what to eat and what to, how to get through all this, Check out Icon Meals. You can definitely order your meals, and they ship anywhere in the U.S., which is great, and you can get them relatively quickly. Um, but I'm cooking every single night. So you guys can probably see me cooking. I'm just cranking out every day. Yeah, but you got nothing. skills. You got skills in the kitchen. Not all of us I got do. skills. Yeah, you I got, got skills. skills, boy. Um, and that's it. And then, uh, you know, just – I don't know what else we got. Let's see. That's it. Hey, listen, man. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, I think anything else that's really, really good for everyone over here. Uh, got our vital proteins, collagen water. Always cranking on that. Oh, yeah. You got to love the vital proteins. Got to love vital proteins. Although I, ha I haven't seen it in that format, by the way. My, my wife uh, does the, 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 the powder. Yeah, the collagen powder. That's good stuff. Good stuff. B. Yeah. Yo, love, I love you, bro. you, brother. It's okay. been real. Love Yo, tell people safe. where to find you. Tell people where to find you. You guys can check me out at uh, my Instagram, Brian Mazza. And my website is actually, oh, you know about this. My website is launching really soon. It's uh, been great. They've been awesome. You guys have been awesome to help me do it. Thank you. Absolutely, brother. I can't wait to see it. All Obviously, right. I've Lo seen it, but I can't wait to see it live. Love you, bro. Be a good fan. Love you. Have a good day. I just swapped in, but y'all already know me. Things in the world nowadays getting old. Chilling in the crib with the fam, getting cozy. Talking with my people, we at home with our homies.